My business, Willow's Huckland, has a lot of guys out in the forest 24 seven, picking huckleberries and bringing them in to me. In the over 30 years that I've run this, I've heard some great Bigfoot and grizzly encounters from my pickers, but yesterday was one of the best. A guy named Logan was picking in a bowl about here with the truck being here. The grizzlies that they had been seeing, one of them spied him out and he was about here. Because he's constantly in the woods, he knew that when that bear locked his gaze on him, he was coming for him. So he began sprinting for the truck and the bear even faster began sprinting also for him. And the distance is closing exponentially. And at this point when he's getting close, the bear is right on his heels, but he makes it to the truck before the bear gets him. He ran so hard that he puked, but he did save his life. Quite an amazing story. And so first you're going to hear from the eyewitness. And then today I went huckleberry picking in that same area that they did. And Travis, the guy that you're gonna hear talking, was supposed to go with me, but something came up and he couldn't. So I ended up up there and another of my pickers named Clint, who is picking on that same mountain, said that the place I was picking today was right where the bear chased him down. I think you'll enjoy seeing me out in that grizz country harvesting these $24 per pound wild huckleberries. So Travis and Logan had some grizz bear adventure. This is Travis, he's one of the good pickers. Look at all the berries he's got. This is my shoot back behind Huckland. I was walking up the mountain and uh, I thought the bear was going to cut off and head up over the top of the ridge and it started heading up diagonally so I just went right up towards its patch. Hey, Logan, he didn't even make it across the bottom of the draw there and it actually ran across the side of the mountain down the mountain towards him and chased him up the other part of the mountain <laughs> to the top. <laughs> He said it was a mile away and he ran for all he was worth for a mile and he ran so hard he puked, but he did outrun it. Yeah, he had a hell of a head start too. And that thing was, like you said, three quarters of a mile a mile away and it still almost caught him. Jeez, that's crazy. When I was talking with Logan about it, he said that he could hear its galloping steps behind him. Now this is how my pickers clean their berries here behind my business, Willow Suckland. Travis, he's one of the best. He's been at it since a young lad. Well, it's September 14th, 2022. As you can see, the skies are smoky. Well, I'm starting to get up into the high country. I'm gonna try some picking up my, where <laughs> Logan got chased by that bear. I don't know why I'm going there, but where there's bears, there's usually huckleberries. Well, we're really getting up here. I see a truck up there. That might be my buddy, Clint. <coughs> Hear that pretty echo? It's pretty cool when you get one answer and you start working toward him. It might sound a little crazy, but I love and revere the grizzly bear. However, I do have a family that needs me and I do have a second line of defense after the bear spray with my 44 mag here. This is a solid point bullet, which I've been told can be good for can be good for a charging grizz because a hollow point like I'm putting in here can tend to splatter, but this is a silver bullet hollow point that has a really good stopping ability. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put hollow points in every other bullet. And if the solid core bullet doesn't stop them, the 44 meg hollow point may. I brought my bugle because it is bull season. I just give a toot. Well, I'm pretty much at the top 
and it seems that the best berry are in the shade so I aim to get into those trees and work on over maybe that hill and see what's out there. Maybe that bear with Logan thought the game was king of the hill. So far it's been pretty sparse and small berries but here I found a pretty decent little bush. and they're small for the most part. Maybe under the secret arch is the uh, key to success in this field. <laughs> I even found a bit of a damp area that there's a bit of a kind of a leech coming through the area, hoping that that would irrigate the crop and there would be more, but there's not. I can't imagine it being hit by someone else way down here. I've came through some pretty rough country there's just not much here. Kind of pretty rocky terrain with some huckleberry bushes in among the rocks, but really not much on them again. I parked up at the top there. I am only 0.21 away from the truck, but it's up that, so it's a ways. Interesting sediment layers in some of these rocks. Here I have found a few plumper berries and a beautiful bush that's starting to turn red. There's bear poop, but not real fresh, maybe two to three days old. Some of the huckleberries, though the same exact species, are more of a frost blue. The area I'm picking is replete with bear grass. This has a beautiful kind of a whitish kind of a plume that comes off it in the spring. And it's a little bit slippery, real easy to fall. A lot of the bushes I've seen are just like this, tiny little huckleberries and not many of them. That's a good size deer, right over there. It does not perceive that I'm here. Let's see if I can center it and show you. I just saw a good sized deer. I don't know if you saw it or not, but it's right by my pickup. Well, it's September 14th, 2022. As you can see, the skies are smoky. And I've been picking up here on this bald knob. And I don't know how high it is, but my ears popped quite some time ago in the truck. And all that red stuff, those, those are huckleberry bushes. But I am not seeing a whole lot on there. In fact, if I was a bear, and this is kind of a grisly thought, I might prefer taking my risks chasing a picker down for a effort to reward ratio. There's the actual top of the peak. You can see a bunch of birds up there, carrion birds, maybe something dead up there. The old Indian proverb says, to truly understand what another man or woman goes through, you must walk a mile in their moccasins. I make sure I come huckleberry picking at least once every year so that I can appreciate what the 180 or so guys that are out here in the forest getting these for me actually go through. And I rattled my truck up for about an hour and 40 minutes to get here. I picked for two hours and got about two pounds, which uncleaned are worth $17. So I can certainly understand is at a low, my price of 116 per gallon, to the highest I've heard is in Spokane for 145, with the average being about 125. Well, since the elk are in the rut, let me give a good hoot and see if I get an answer. Only wind and smoke, let's go. Well, thanks for the support, everybody. We're getting close to 5,000 subs. Please go ahead and subscribe and share the video and have a great day.